Luca began to respond, but the sky answered for him as the clouds above began to break, revealing patches of star-filled summer night. Moonlight filtered down, shimmering in the treetops. Luca stopped himself mid-sentence. skulking by the gate. Beck grabbed the wrought iron bars and shook the gate. was an excited whisper. Figure retracted their mask, hair pushing out from all corners. A chill ran down Luca's spine, his vision blurred. Beck stifled a sharp wince, and Luca looked down to see himself wrenching her hand. Gran tussled her hair back under the face mask. Gran gave Eris a curt nod and disappeared into the night. Chapter 5 What big ears you have! Lucas sat shivering in the bushes, staring at his feet. After checking to make sure the coast was clear, Beck gave him a gentle tug on his sweater. After the foul harvest destroyed their wealth and reputation, the Valentines shuttered off their estate from the rest of town. <laughs> the clipboard finished writing with a scratchy flourish and looked up. Mr. Nuncreed, arms crossed over his paunch, gave an exhausted sigh. He snapped. 
touched the pad and scribbled his name so hard the pen nearly snapped. The clipboards looked at each other for a moment, almost pondering the possibility, then broke into laughter as they walked away. and Gus Valentine proudly surveyed the half-covered festival banner. The mayor gave a half-hearted shrug. his arm on Gus's shoulder. Glimmer in his eye, Kerr gestured grandly toward the horizon. Thank <laughs> you. 
waggled his head with pride. Six. 